Hey, mambo vipi Anita Santuri hapa? Karibu tena ni siku nyingine. Najua tumekaa sana bila ku post poleni sana yani. Lakini zilikuwa ni sababu ambazo usiza kuepukika. Kwanza maandamano mara sijui issue kibao tu lakini we are happy to be back. Karibu sana kwenye our safe space. Anita Santuri ndo jina la kispesi yenye tupo. Sasa na kama kawaida huwa najaribu kutafuta mgeni one to one. Kuna wenye ambao nimekuwa nao tayari but if the conversation inawahusu huwa ninawaita tunakaa tunapiga nao story. Hapa kazi yetu ni kujuzana, kuelimishana na pia kuburudishana mwisho wa siku. Karibu tena kama wewe ni mgeni unaweza ka subscribe hicho kidudi kuna kidudi cha kengele hapo finya hapo every time tuna post utakuwa unapata notification kama usha subscribe unaweza kupia uka share kwa marafiki zako na kwa kila mtu ili tukue pamoja hii ni jamii moja karibu tena 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 na tena mambo vipi shwari huyu ndio naeleo nilo naeleo <laughs> sio mgeni ashakuja mara kadhaa lakini hii conversation ambayo tuko nayo i felt like ni mtu ambaye namjua vizuri na tutakuwa na urahisi wa kulizungumzia ili jambo. Na kitu ambacho tunakizungumzia leo ni kuhusu mawasiliano ndani ya mahusiano. Eh hey, tumerahim mahusiano ndani ya ah, mawasiliano ndani ya mahusiano. Uko ndani. Ulisema inanihusu. Haina <laughs> kuhusu sana. <laughs> This is my friend, my my business partner and mwisho wa siku kuna vitu vingi ambavyo tunafanya pamoja. Karibu sana Raul. Asante. Kwa hii tukuite beard gang ama tukuiteje? Tuna tuna na beard doji. Beard doji. Hapo tunavuruga. Hii leo ni ya kuvuruga. Ni ya kuvuruga. Sio na mpaka nimevaa miwani. Introduction ikianza na miwani si hati miwani ilikuwa juu hivi. Eh, ah, yaani ishaingia. Ajua niko ndani. Eh? Ina news. I'm so happy for you. Asante. Na fry sana kwa hapa. Shukuru. Now, um kama tulivyozungumza hapo awali. Oh. I think vijana wa siku hizi sisi watu wa siku sisi wa vijana tena tushapitisha miaka 35 ndio yao sawa hapo sikatai kidogo nseme bado niko kwa bracket ya kijana but um, eh, bado assist ni vijana mentally bali. mentally, mentally yani eh? forever young hatuwezi eh, hatuwezi hatuwezi eh. zeka maana eh. akili akili zina I think for creatives mm. ukiwa creative popote pale ulipo shout out any creative mwenye anaochi wewe utawezeka maana yake akili yako pia ikuru. Akili ikuruhusu yeah. uzeke so <laughs> ndo hapo sasa so communication ndani ya relationships no. you know tumeona cases kibao sana you know yeah. watu wengi ambao wanaachana ukifuatilia fuatilia sana ni kwa sababu communication haikuwepo kuna sure. miscommunication kuna bridge ma kuna gap mahali communication haiko sawa na kwa wale wakazi wa Nairobi over the few months past few months kumekuwa na cases kibao sana sana either watu wanajua either watu wanawana wana. yeah. yani watu wanafanyana vitu kwa vitu kwa yani havina hata mwili hapa kuna kaachi unajiuliza hapo ni watu sio walikuwa wanapendana mbona imefikia hapa kwa ni tatizo lilikuwa yani kuna maswali mengi ambayo unaweza kujiuliza wewe kama mtu ambaye unajua umuhimu wa mahusiano ni nini sure where do you think tatizo liko huh like um naweza sema hiyo issue ya communication communication ina cut across vitu mingi sana mm. sio kuongea tu mm. in terms of uh, nasikia njaa ama o oh, nina maanja mm. ya manipe shona <laughs> maana I, i think boy child mara nyingi mm. ndio mwenye kwa communication yake mm. anajua kuongea sana time ya kujitetea Mm. Ikiwa ni mambo ya kupewa na kukatiana nini na nini kuje express inakuwa very simple very easy Hakuna, you, you know what you want so mm. you're straight to the point mm. lakini ikifika ni kuhusiana like mahusiano in general like mm. relationship where love is involved sasa mm. Hapo ndo kwenye kuna kizungu na mkuti. Wanaita wana, wanaita difficult uh, conversations hapo you know. sasa. Mm. Unaona? Manake kwenye kwenye nikimaanisha ni communication and relationships mm. na siongei kuhusu mimi kevo mwenye nina dem kariobangi nina dem roi sambu nina dem no 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 niko na mwenye naita bibi yangu niko na mtu mwenye yani mwanamke eh, mmoja mwenye uko naye nakumbuka kuna ile kuna ile time nikasema kama mwanaume lazima upatie mtu akushikie kipande fulani cha cha moyo eh, eh. sasa <laughs> sasa kama kama una huyo mwenye umempatia juu uwezo hmm. ukawapatia wengi yeah. utakorogeka wengine ni wapita njia tu hapo sasa eh. sasa uwezi patia mtu sasa kipande chako wapita njia ama wewe ndo mpewa kipande cha moyo ama labda ndo wapitishe hiyo njia ala 
your discussion for another day but can you likuwa nasema ni unaona ukiwana yule mwenye umempatia iki kipanda cha roho yako mm. cha moyo mm. inamaanisha kuna venye huo mna deal in terms of kuongeleshana unaona mm. yeah. siku zote wanasema when two become one so na hii si maanishi tu peke yake ile time yenye mumeenda kwa wazazi mka mkaenda mka nini uh, mkafanya harusi mm. as long as muko kwa hayo mahusiano mm. ya mimi ni wako wewe ni wangu mm exclusivity wanaita wazungu yes. ama hiyo ni exclusivity mm. ndio uh, inclusive ni mkiwa na eh. muingiza wengine ndani eh. sasa exclusive yes. muingizi watu wengine mm. sure. so kama mko exclusive to one another ina maanisha kuna vitu ambavyo huo umelearn kuhusu mwenzako definitely iko wewe ni mwanaume wewe ni mwanamke hii cuts across by this you na, na unge tu kama boy child manake mimi ni mwanaume mm. na, na i identify as male so <laughs> So we see they them they. Ah, Siju hizo pronouns zingine lakini wewe ni mimi ni mimi ni he. Eh. Mel. Up. So mtaongea kama mwanaume. So kwa mahusiano wewe kama mwanaume ama wewe kama mwanamke lazima mm-hmm. ujue mtu wako mm-hmm. ni wapi kwenye mnapatania. Mm-hmm. And by this I mean utapata kama si kila time mtakuwa mnasmailiana yeah. mambo yako smooth nini kuna time mnajamishana. Sio ni kawaida. You see I think relationships kama mm, kama mko katika mahusiano hamgumbani amwafanyie ya nini ujiulizeni sana kuna mtu ni anadanganya mwanzake kuna kasoro hapo hakuna, hakuna feelings hakuna, hakuna feelings involved because the moment you have feelings bro lazima uta, utasikia vibaya ah, ah, mtagombana sana utasikia vibaya yeah, no? so unapata kwa kuwa mnaelewana katika hiyo mm. hali ya ku feel kai kwa ni jealousy kwa yeah. ni nini lazima ujue mtu wangu oh, niki, nikituma hii message pale instagram alafu ni best yangu tuseme kama anita Mm. Niende pale kwa Anita Santuri umepiga bonge la picha na bonge la smile alafu unasema mm, eh kuna emoji zenye uwezi ukaeka maana mm. kiaeka pale anajua mimi na ashamoto mahali fulani yeah. haita maanisha chochote kutoka kwangu kwako yes lakini yeye yeah, ataichukulia vipi definitely atachukulia vibaya maana yake huyu ni mtu wangu ni mpenzi wangu mbona anakwenda kuweka no. makopa emoji za makopa kwa mtu mwingine so hiyo no. communication yenu inakaa vipi Mm-hmm. Unaona sasa communication cuts across vitu kibao sana. Mm-hmm. Twende kwa finances. Mm-hmm. Apo mwanzo ndo kuna kitu kimzungukuti. Apo kuna msomari fulani hivi huo ambao usiugonge. I think what I've realized is a lot of people who are hawapend sana kuzungumzia kuhusu masuala ya finances. Yeah. You know I think tumezoea kwamba you know mkiwa kwa mahusiano mwanamume ndo anafaa ku provide kwa kila kitu. Well, so sad. Right nowadays kuna wanawake ambao wana hand pesa nyingi sana kushinda wanaume. Kweli? Well, it will not hurt wakati mnasaidiana kulipia ku, one to one to. True. Wapo hata wale wenye wanasaidia nyumba nzima uh-huh. like household duties na kila kitu. Sasa wewe unakutana na ngumu sumu mwanamume anapata mshahara mzuri. Mhm. Sasa na no. amona na mwana, mwanamke anapata mshahara mzuri lakini pale nyumbani hawezi atatoka ndio wale wako wenye wanaamini kila mtu ana anapatia ke yeah. sasa yeah. wewe we ni school fees yeah. wewe ni wa nini na nini wewe ni kulipa rent no that that is when you guys live together yeah there's there's a time when you guys are not living together but you are dating kwa mfano let's say mfano mzuri tu kama sisi watu ambao ni single man. Yeah. Ukikutana wewe kwa mfano na mwanamke ambaye ni single parent. Yeah. And unajua kabisa probably this woman is struggling somewhere. Mm-hmm. Will you be able to help if you're able to or you're not? Sasa tu 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 tuseme hivi mm-hmm. huyu mwanamke ni yule mwenye kipande anacho. Anacho kipande. Kama ana kipande automatically ashaingia kwa ile checklist ya mm-hmm. wa, kwa wa, mm-hmm. watu wa nini? But then how hiyo communication ndugu yangu zinafanyikaje zinafanyikaje azifanyiki siku hizi manake finances that are no go zone conversation nowadays you know hatuwezi zungumzia masuala ya finances bai kumsaidia huyu mwanadada ulikuwa mm. amaanisha namsaidia kivipi kihela ki, ki, ma, ki mawazo, you know conversations we talk you know such things so haya mambo mengine yote yeah, make nafanyika. sense yatafanyika mm. automatically mm-hmm. unaona lakini ikifikia ni kwa finances mm. eh, because lazima tuelewane mm. oya oh, ni nini nafanya nasaidia kivipi vipi yes maana kwa una kwako mimi nina kwangu nina bills zangu yes. wewe una bills zako yes. so maybe ni kuwe na changia kwa mm. bills zako mm. in a way yes. probably kuwe ni nikusaidie kulipa rent kwa maana kama ni kama naja kulala kwako mm. itabidi at some point ni toe bonga points pale 
you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kuna participation <laughs> unaona kuna yeah. participation plan yeah. either nali parent ama niku, nikuja na shopping mm. unaona lakini hii inamaanisha tumefikishana hiyo level ya yeah, mambo hayo si ati tumpatana kwa kwa, kwa kwa matatu leo yeah, tumeanza kuongeleshana kidogo baby, kidogo ndio kuimeisha ah lakini baby mamangu ni mgonjwa haina shida ah, mgonjwa eh, 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 tutamuombea eh tutamuombea sio tuambe pale eh, una omba tutaomba apone <laughs> maana sasa tumejua na juzi na yeah. juzi yaweza kuwa hata mwezi miezi mitatu mm. miezi misita mm. lakini as long as hatujafikishana hiyo level ya Mm. Mimi na wewe twajua na kihivyo. Mm. Maana sita kudanganya. Kujua na kihivyo ni kumaanisha. Kuwa naweza kukupatia, naweza kukulipia rent. Mm. Ndio unapata watu wengi na I'll use this pole for for those who are in this situation. Pole ni, ni kan matusi. But boys waki 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 wa kwa hizi situation mm. ndio unapata mtu alienda akapiga mtu wake wa kando sijui mpango sijui mm. girlfriend ukampiga. Mm. Simply because una feel ni kama Oye, na lipia rent ya nyumba mm. unaletaje mtu mwingine mtu mwingine unaona mm. lakini na... I think if I will ever allow someone to pay my rent ndo nasema kama mmefikishana pale it's not about allowing them to what mm. if i offer no I, i'll use that money for something else yeah but mimi najua nimelipa rent kwa nini mimi yangu ni policy Oh like nisi kul- usilipiwe rent Mimi rent utajilipia mwenye Mimi rent nitajilipia mwenye no. <laughs> Acha nkupe mfano pole <laughs> mfano ni rent yako ni 30000 ama 50000 ama whatever si ndio uh-huh. alafu wewe wajua rent yako ni 30000 lakini hujaniambia rent yako ni 30000 hata kama uliniambia ni 30000 uh-huh. nije ni offer uh-huh. ate pepe naweza kulipia rent ate hastaki rent lakini waweza nilipia siju nini unipatie hesabu ile ile ya rent Uh-huh. No you see nitajua juaje hiyo pesa ilienda kulipia ABC mimi nikikwambia nataka na shopping tutaenda na West Market tukafanye shopping ah, ah. I do nakupa sitaki unipe usinipe mimi uni uongo 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 <laughs> <laughs> uongo zachukuliwa <laughs> ai but you see the moral of the story is yeah Uh, I think many a times people don't just sit down and have that conversation about finance. Ngumu. Kwa sababu anajua kabisa we can have a conversation about sex. Yeah. We can have a conversation about time, how we spend our time together. We can have a conversation about biashara zetu tunaweza tukafanya. Yeah. But hata hii biashara, yes tumefanya biashara. Mimi ndugu yangu hata kama wewe ni mume wangu tunafanya biashara tutaandikisha na mkataba. Kesa na maana kwa sababu uh, right na ukoti ime, ime, imeandikisha kwamba you know pesa ambazo umetengeneza na mke wako ama na mume wako hizo ndio mnaweza mkagawa wakati mnaachana. Mm, mm. Kile ambacho umemkuta nacho mume wako hicho ni tabaki nacho. Which makes sense. Yeah. Now imagine you're married to this person na kwambie wewe kaa nyumbani. Sasa na kaa nyumbani kwa sababu gani? Ah sasa atakupropozea pale akwambie nitakupa hiki nikupe kile au tuandikishane kwenye mkataba ndio mm-hmm. ukija ukikinuka kumpata mtu mwingine mwenye ni working class kama wewe ambao umemwambia afanye kazi because i've seen a lot of people wenye wameambia bibi zao wakae nyumbani ah. na mipango yao ya kando ni watu ambao wanafanya nao kazi mu office mm-hmm. i think no. so it makes the woman very vulnerable na imagine umemwambia mtu akae nyumbani i'll provide What if you just decide you're you leaving me? Uta provide nini? Utanipatia nini mimi chenye nitatoka nacho hapo nende nacho kwetu? And I've been a full time housewife. Asa makosa inakuja wapi? Mm. <coughs> Kwa first msingi wa haya mahusiano. Mm. Foundation ya hii relationship yes. yenu ilianze anze ya vipi? Mm. Unaona? Maana ikifikia ni mahali kwenye mimi na kuambia oya kaa nyumbani. Mm. Niulize sawa, nitakaa nyumbani. Na kuuliza ukae nyumbani nilikupata wapi? Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm. Kama nilikupata uko nyumbani nikikwambia ukae nyumbani waendeleza tu ulichokuwa ukifanya. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Lakini siwezi nikakwambia utoke kwa ile kazi unayofanya. Ah, na wengine. mimi nikijua vizuri sana kuna venye value fulani inatokana na hiyo kazi unayofanya. Mimi najua kuna watu wap- bro. Unaona hapa mjini? Mimi najua kuna watu ambao mtu amepata I have a very good friend of mine. Mm. This woman was earning very good money. Yeah. Mwisho mwezi Yeah. Alivoona na uta iko nakwambia mama kaa nyumbani. Sitaki mwanamke ambaye anafanya kazi. Ni sawa. Five years down the line. Mm-hmm. This ninja is cheating on this woman with a working class woman. Mwanamke ambaye kana biashara zake, ana shughuli zake, 
wewe unkapo ungeje uweze hata utaanzia wapi biashara zimesha sasa ndo nakwambia msingi wa kuliko nini chanzo cha hii relationship mm. is important mm. unaona sasa huu mtu akikatia alikupata ofisini mm. sawa so as a man kuna vitu venye vili mu attract kwako mm. probably haikuwa urembo wako ama nini it's the fact that ulikuwa ofisini ushaisikia zile stories za wanaume wanapenda women in uniform yes viskati fupi mm-hmm. probably hiyo ndio ilikuwa luku yako ofisini na kadhani labda itaendelea pale nyumbani ukifika <laughs> nyumbani madera sijui nini wanifichia <laughs> mitani, mitani, eh, wanifichia <laughs> white kila time <laughs> So, hanja mimi nashuka. Mimi nitakuvalia skati mini skati paka pale nyumbani. Na hivyo ndio inafaa. Hey, Ushaona? Tuvae mini skati. Hivyo ndio inafaa. Sasa ile shida yenye inakuja ina, ina ama kwenye shida inaanzia ni mm. when this man starts seeing what was not happening in the office. Mm. Ideas za kitambo zinakuja. Umenipatia example poa sana. Mm. Aliolewa five years later akaanza ku flat na nani? Mwanamke ambaye anafanya naye si ku flat ya so ku chiti. Yaani mahusiano ya, ya kikweli na mwenye yuko ofisini naye. Mm. Meaning nilitaka ile feeling ya ofisi ofisi at Tena. some point. Mm. Lakini si kuipata kwako. Si ati namtetea huyu jamaa ama nini? No. Away from that. Ni wewe sasa kama mwanamke nimekutoa ofisini nimekuja nikakwambia kaa nyumbani niulize okay sawa nataka nyumbani niwe mpango. mke wako nini mpango ni gani maana at the end of the day wewe kama mwanamke wanasemaga kwa biblia mimi nimeraisiwa from a christian background yeah? so biblia inakwambia uh, mwanamke ni helper amekuja kusaidia kufanya mm-hmm. kitu helper ukienda kwa dictionary helper inamaanisha mtu aliye na nguvu sawa na wewe ama zaidi ya ulizo nazo mm-hmm. wewe i repeat helper ako na nguvu sawa na wewe ama zaidi ya, ama za zaidi ya ulizo nazo so uwe mwanamme fikiria mara mbili yakini nimekwambia so wewe kama helper umekuja kwa life yangu unanisaidia vipi nimekwambia njoo ukae happened, nyumbani what happened to men being now you see when we talk about being a helper and all that yeah what happens to men being the protectors being the provider. providers and all that still happens But is it because masculinity ya wanaume imeshuka i wouldn't say masculinity other than these stories za gmo sijui nini na nini zina zina mambo yake wacha wacha nayo wanasema mambo ya gmo vikula vya gmo vinalegeza wanaume inasemekana inafanya watu waanze kutoka ma wanani hilo but matuguda ehe lakini naiangalia from point ya kama siku na mtu mwenye alinionyesha how to be a man kuanzia nikiwa utotoni no, no. and this does not mean absent fathers that you are raised on a single mom za manini mm, mm. no mnaweza kuwa umeraisiwa na wazazi wawili lakini your father is not there available yes unanielewa mm. so kama hakukuwa na mtu wa kunionyesha what it means to be a provider what it means to be a, a protector, protector what it means to do all these peace mm. i will struggle before ni elewe ni nini inaendelea nita struggle Yeah. Na hii struggle inakujia wapi? Mimi niliona babangu alioa akiwa na miaka 20. Kidogo kidogo mimi pia nimeenda nimepiga na mimba nikiwa na miaka 18. Mm. Nafata nyayo za babangu. Mm. Alianza akiwa mtoto mimi nimeanza akiwa nikiwa mtoto. Yes. Sasa nani atayelimisha mwingine? Watoto wanalia watoto. Mm. Unaona? So it goes yani ni, ni kirefu. Eh ni chain nyingine ndefu sana yenye kama hakutakuwa na mtu hapa katikati a realize kuna fixing that needs to happen itaendelea. So it's just important for for people ambao wako kwenye mahusiano wa kuwe na conversations kuhusu masuala ya finance. Kila kitu. Yes. Kila And kitu. How unaona ile maus, kuna kuna mahusiano ambayo yanahusiana na masuala ya kitandani. Huba. Eh yes. Hapo sasa. <laughs> You see utapata mara nyingi wanaume wamekaa you know have, my, most of my friends are men mm-hmm. not very close but wale watu ambao tunaweza tukaka chini na tuka hang out most of them are men ma hii men oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i think most of the conversations zenye huwa tunakuanga nazo mimi na wewe yeah. now especially when i share something on my whatsapp status yeah. utapata mwanamme hana muda mwanamke ata communicate kila kitu lakini wanawake wengi wanakuaga na uoga ku communicate maswala ya kitanda bedroom shy Oh yes. Uh-huh. Mimi naweza nikasema um, wanakuanga na sexual shame. Kinda, eh? Uh-huh. Yes, sexual yeah. shame. Yeah. Kwa sababu mimi nikijijua mimi mwenyewe ni freaky. Nikijua mimi mwenyewe mwenda azimu. Same zote mimi mwenda azimu. Mm-hmm. Halafu nje nipate mwanamume ambaye yupo reserved. Yeah. Nitakuwa ninaogopa. Mwanzo akija akijionyesha kwamba yeye ni Mr. Perfect. <laughs> Nitakuwa na uoga kumwambia eh 
babe mimi sipendi unishike hivi napenda unishike namna hii lakini naweza muambia utaka chips imepikwa kiasi gani design plan hayo ni masuala ya mankuli hata bole mankuli pia eh ni mankuli lakini ya tofauti ndugu yangu yes, sasa tisho. ukipata mwanamume namna hiyo hmm. alafu upate mwanamume ambaye ni don't care pale nje wanaoitaga bad boys mm-hmm. upate bad boy pale nje mwenye yeah. nakusikiza anita watakaje mimi nataka unishike mashavu anita nataka nataka unifanye masaji mguuni mm-hmm. do you know it's very easy for a woman like this to to drift up, up away kutoka kwa ile relationship ambayo uko nayo especially kama foundation haiko na nguvu yeah unajua yeah. manake tumekuwa na ile you know it's sio fresh kuzungumzia kuhusu masuala ya ngono I wouldn't say si fresh na 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 naweza ama, ama ulifunzwa na nani hizi staili zote wewe ulifunzwa na nani sasa unaona sababu kinauliza nilifunzwa na nani nilifunzwa na mwenzio maana hujanipata mimi nipo bado bado wanasemaje hmm. yani ukiona show me your friend i show who you are yes unaona hmm. so kama wewe waniambia wewe si freak kote nikote lakini nikija nikiangalia pale best yako fulani mm, sifa zimetanda mm. nikiangalia pale upande wa pili sifa na si mabeste zako wanaume hata wanaume pia naweza mm. kwanza uko nao wanaume ndo naweza kuangalia sana like <laughs> <laughs> kuna kuna kasoro mahali you know? but either way mm. niki ni, ni, nikitaka kukujua na ndo nasema mahusiano huwa yanaanzia mbali si jana siwezi kukujua wiki moja wiki mbili hey, na nijue haya mambo yote about you mm. unaona it takes time maana hata wale utasikia mtu ana miaka 60 wameoana 60 lakini bado hamjui mkewe yes. bado yamjaribu jaribu mm. kila kila mm. uchao shona so <coughs> kwa wale wenye wenye huwa tuseme ni kama uoga i think hiyo kukuwa reserved pia kuna hiyo mentality ya huyu jamaa atanichukulia chukulia vipi mm. i wouldn't say ni kukuwa shy maki wanawake ni freaks sana 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 <laughs> like unless upate yule mwenye nishuka eh yeah, nkulala tu yuko mm. unaona so what hata huyo naye alikuepo freaky labda muda lakini ni vile tu labda ile pata exposure vile kuna wale wenye maybe hajawahi pata exposure ama kuna yule hajui mbumbumbu wanaitaga mbumbumbu mm. yule ni mimi lale njoo iishe haya kila mtu upande wake sasa upate huyo mwenye wacha nikisema mbumbumbu na tukana mtu huyo mwenye hana shughuli tuseme mm. hana hana kabisa yani hayupo hayup. yani no mm. sasa upate yule mwanamke zero mwanaume pia hajui Nona. Na na sisemi eti ni vizuri ku experiment ama kujua about your sexual ah, ni vizuri usidanganye no, watu ah ah context no, kwanza ah, ngoja ah, tuende ah, na context basi ah, ah. ni vizuri ah. ku explore bro wanasemaga test drive important before you buy the ah ah tusiende sana kwa test drive maana utafanya watu wa test before marriage test drive exploration yako ah, inasema ah. haya so sikia ah. context uh-huh. sikia context uh-huh. ameleta upuzi ya yeah. context <laughs> <laughs> so so context yangu yenye nilikuwa nasema si vizuri ku explore eh. it's because when you're exploring mm. utapata maajabu maajabu katika hiyo expedition yako mm-hmm. shaona so utakosa hata wewe mwenyewe kujielewa maana utakuwa waenda ukichovya chovya jana nilikuwa na njoki noma sana Leo leo kidogo Anita Aha, si, si, si okay uku, uku explore hiyo si fresh. Ndio hiyo context nilikuwa nakwambia sasa. Lakini oh, okay hiyo sure. explore hiyo si fresh. Lakini kama kuna mtu mmoja ukiwa na mtu wako sasa. Eh. Maana hapa tuongea wale wenye wako na shares kwa roho yako. Please do not misquote me. Eh. Hii si ya watu wenye bado mnajuana juana. No, hii hmm. ukijaribu utafail. But kwa yule mwenye mnajuana mahusiano kama hayo pia huwa ni important. Unaona? Mm. So depending na mwenye ni shy. So ukipata nyoto wawili ni shy bahati mbaya. Kuna yule mwenye siku moja labda atajikuta ameingia pabaya ndio exploration. Sasa kidanyuze sasa. Unaona? Exploration ya zie huko nje badala. Mimi kiamini kama kuna mtu ambaye yuko shy. I don't. Wa, no, this is this is why. Unaweza kutana na mtu yupo shy but when you create the environment for of them course. to be comfortable of course now you of will course. see the freaky side of this thing of course you know of i course. don't believe it oh yule ni mimi naibu mimi sasa kama kuna mtu anaibu mimi na ukuaga naibu <laughs> sinione mimi ni paruanja huko hamna hamna eh? uwezi kuwa ongea hivi eh? on camera na unaaibu watu wote wenye wanaaibu kama mimi hatuwezi ongea mbele ya kamera hii unaona ni uongo Okay. Like, I think let's not judge yeah. just because mtu anapenda 
I remember there's a day I met this person back in the days, you know, yeah. the, you know my, my previous my previous life. Yeah. And I, I tell him what I like because personally I I like using my example, my personal example kwa sababu watu wao wanajifanya holy than thou sana uko nje. Just because story yako haijatoka nje ama hujapata mimba doesn't make it. Haijapiga premiere, YouTube yes. premiere. Ehe. Uh-huh. Sasa upate mtu ukimwambia mimi napenda kufanya hivi na kwa eh sasa hizi vitu zote kwani kitu imepitia watu wangapi my friend me the moment you ask me kitu imepitia watu wangapi my friend wajua uh, me I, you, you know you make someone shut down hata kama ningefurahi kufanya kitu namna gani you know there some statements zenye tunaambia ga watu wakati tunafanya hilo <coughs> tendo it turns them on off kabisa yeah. and the moment you turn someone off kuna vitu zingine azizi rudi you know sure. Cool. Sure. Building confidence when it comes to maswala ya sex it takes time. Ngono. Ukisema kwa Kiswahili na sound very ngono. Eti ngono. Sex ina ka sexy ni watu. Ngono na ngono ngono maana Kiswahili mazee inakuaga na uzito fulani. Unaona? Tendo la ngono means a lot to men as it should to women. No, no. Yeah. But no, but the women are the ones who are emotional ones. Yes, ndo nasema it means a lot to men like it should to women. Yes. Chida ni society yenye tupo other than your judgmental na nina nini ni settings za kitambo. Unajua sasa when it comes to judging people, mm. we 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 look at them using vitu venye have make sense. Yeah. Unaona kama hiyo holy than thou yenye ulikuwa unasema mtu ataanza kuangalia Biblia kufanya nini na yeye mwenyewe hafati anything yenye iko kwa hiyo Biblia lakini yes. you as I you na everything yenye ufanyi mm. through your lens ya Biblia mm. so nikirudi back to society ni as an african setup unakumbuka kitambo hiyo haingekuwa swali like hivi vitu ulijulia wapi mm. maana makungu hiyo ndio ilikuwa kazi yao kazi yao shaona mwenye na inherit ukungu hivi <laughs> Nasemaje? <laughs> Bibi kama mtu uko na harusi na watafuta kungwi mimi kungwi ya. Eh tu Anita bai. Eh Anita ni mwenyewe. Ashafika. Sasa kama kama hiyo back in the day because mm. kulikuwa na watu wenye wana 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 wana, wana elimishana mm. about maki kitambo haikuwa sexual evil from a physical point only yeah. it meant it still does mean a lot mm. in terms of spirituality the energy na hizo vitu zote hizo discussion for another day mm. but unaona sasa kulikuwa na makungu wenye washa experience mm. intercourse before so watakuo explainia ni kama math wewe uko class 1 hujui multiplication ni nini yeah. lakini utafunzwa mpaka akili yako ijue multiplication mm. yafanana vipi ya yes. sound vipi so it was the same thing that the oldies grandma wetu upande wa maboy kulikuwa na uh, time ya nini mm. uh, ilikuwa inaitwa kwa ile twaje nimesahau jina rika mm. so mlikuwa mnapelekwa rika moja mnaenda mnafundishwa like a whole month mnafundishwa na wazae venye kutreat wanawake venye mm. kubehave mbele ya mm. wanawake na vitu kama hivyo hivyo vitu havipo yes unaona mm. ndio maana watu kake na nyinyi mimi tu, tu, tuko na hiyo opportunity ya kuelimisha vijana saizi about what it means to do or to be in a sexual relation Mm. lakini na mtu mmoja si hata sasa hizi ni, ni point a a ni hey. za mtu mwenye anajielewa si za kila mtu unaona so hiyo elimu pia goes a long way because badala mimi sasa hizi ukija ukiniambia do napenda kuweka ki, 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 kisigino kishike unajua nitaanza kuimagine kwanza hicho kisigino kilifika fikaje Wona tayari mwenyewe umemaka kisigino utosini nishaimagine hivi tayari <laughs> so imagine wewe kama dem ndo umeniambia do mimi mazee zangu ni kisigino utosini ndo wapatie ke uwanze sasa itakuwa ngumu mimi kuimagine kama mwanaume ndo hilo swali lenye unauliza do hichi chombo kimepitia wangapi maana kinajua wanaume wengi sana wanaweza penda mtu mwenye kisigino cha fikaka mm. mm. so imagination yangu itanipeleka wild into all these questions badala tu ni appreciate da wewe ni msanii Ewe ana wewe ni artist huyo. Maana kishaona vile umepinda na kila kitu, hey. akili yangu itaenda itaenda wild but yes, but now the society of pale, yes. nitaanza kukuangalia vingine. Yeah. Wewe ya mambo hayo ulijulia wapi? Maana yake sitaona kuna mtu kwenyu alikufundisha. Maana mimi sikufundishwa na mtu. Hawajui kwamba nyumbani no. kuna makungu. Uh-huh. 
Mimi si kufundishwa na mtu nilijifunza mwenyewe through porn labda vi magazine pale sijui na nini. Au labda. Eh, ndo napeana example ya labda sasa. Oh. Labda vi magazine kuna movie. Eh, eh. Sasa si kuona nimeona eh. eh. sana. Enzi ah. zile. Lakini unaona ukija ukija ukio wacha kucheka. Niko serious size. <laughs> serious serious business. Unaona? Eh. But sasa ukija mtu kama mimi tuseme mwenye nime get exposure ya porn. Yeah. Alafu wewe ni mdemo unakuja unanipatia hiyo advancement. Demi. Pictures oh, nita. Shona. Huyu ndio ndio star. Na ndio uwe star ya maanisha kuna venye umepiga rehearsal la hapa eh. na pale mpaka ukaona hii ndio. Hii ndio. Shona. Eh. Sasa hayo maswali siezi nika nika avoid kwa akili yangu. Lakini ningefundishwa kuwa oya haya mambo huwa ya kuna mahali nyumbani watu ufundishwa 1 2 three na watu wenye wame experience intercourse. Mm. Mm. Haiwezi nisumbua. Yeah. Lakini sasa sina hiyo exposure ya kufundishwa about hizi vitu. Mm. Nitajua juaje. Ndio hiyo lazima niende pale www nijitafutie mimi mwenyewe mtandaoni. Na unachotafuta mtandaoni si Anita na Raul utapatana nao pale. Vitu vi- oh, utapata. different. Utapatana na description yako tu. Eh. Type chochote utakipata. But- and then kuna um, i know kwa tuna muda because time imesonga pia na yeah. hii discussion imeenda haraka ilikuwa fupa <coughs> na kuna um, we had a topic up before tukasema when is it time to to call it quits yeah and i feel like unaona watu wengi sasa hivi wengi wana uana wanafanya nini why can't you just tell someone you know me and you miskupendi tena we nenda we acha tuachane probably unaangalia ile ile investment in your make in terms of emotional financial na vitu kama hivyo so hizi ndo watu watu usemaga kuna red flags in relationships yeah. na kila kitu true ziko na ni nyingi sana zingine hata huwa zime make sense mtu labda huwa ashika kombe leo ameshika kombe vingine sio kajani huwa na kichwa kombe so but the reason why tuseme mtu kama mimi naweza kuwa na issue mm. ku, kuondokea because for me hiyo itakuonekana ku let go of mm-hmm. whatever it is mm-hmm. tuseme ni, ni relationship umekeza emotions zako for 15 years yes, yes. sawa ume invest finances in terms of mmejenga pamoja labda mmenunua mm-hmm. vitu ama kuna biashara mmeanzisha pamoja yeah. so unakuja uki, ukiangalia hizi vitu zenye mmefanya kwa pamoja alafu kwa alafu tu hati na najua labda sawa yapenda kusika kisigino na sifiki kisiginoni how can i make this work yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. so mm. unapata pia ile communication sa zingine inaweza tusaidia kulegeza i am uh, uh, mvutano mm. tuseme wenyewe mm. lakini sisemi uwe kwa toxic relationship na we allow no inafikaga mahali pengine however much you've invested in that relationship yeah. when it's time to let go wachana wo mkifikia mahali ni kushikiana mapanga mkifika mahali ni kuwekeana sumu na mnarekodiana ukifika mahali ni ni ni, ni yani nyinyi yenyu ni kupashana ni kupashana not that i'm judging but nita nitakujudge kama itafikia hiyo level ya you condone it yeah. itabidi nijiulize maswali so judging yangu haitakuwa ati na kuona wewe ni mjinga ama wewe ni akili yako haiko sawa no nitakuwa najiuliza ulifikia fikia vipi mpaka ukaiwachia iende mahali kama hapa mm-hmm. maana kila mtu ana reason zake yeah. unaona probably hiyo sitaki kuachia because i've invested a lot of emotions and whatever in it could be one of the reasons siezi nikasema ati ah ufai bwana ikifikia hapo oya mahusiano watu wawili wa kitanda kimoja huwa kuna password nyingi sana hapo ndani zenye uwezi ukazielewa. Unaona? So kile naweza sema ni watu tutujue jinsi ya ku communicate kwa relationships yeah. zetu. Mtu wako akiwa ni wa kelele usiwe wa kelele pia. Oh, Chagua eh yani mmoja wenyu akiwa juu lazima kuwa na mtu anashuka. Mm. So nyote mnaweza kuwa ni wa kelele, kelele ndio lakini yeye akiwa volume 10 wewe chezea volume 9. At least kukuwe na balance. Eh ishuke chini. So ujue when is it time to step down? When is it time to step up? Wewe ndo mahusiano. Wewe okay. Jamani ah. tumezungumza mengi kwa sababu ya muda naomba tu tulibebe ili somo hili next time. But kama uko kwenye mahusiano, jaribu ku create environment ambayo itakuwa rahisi ya partner wako muweze ku communicate. At least tupunguze hivi vifo ambavyo vipo sasa hivi. Watu wako na pressure nyingi sana. Kama una hela mwambie mwanzo kwa sina hela. Kama uwezi enda mahali mwambie tu siwezi. You know if we, if it's something that you can't do wewe sema tu siwezi fanya you know i can't because of this and this basi tu haina haja tuanze kupigana tu uane tufanye nini ah ah mtapoteza na maisha bure mwende jela wengine for no reason at all 
Asanteni sana kwa wote ambao wame, wamekana sisi all this time. Tukutane next week on Monday. But kwa sasa jamani, kama wei ni mgeni, please subscribe, share, like. Kwambi mabishi za kukuhusu this space. Anita Santuri. Unaezo kapatika na api? Uh, mimi nitafute pale Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Popote pale. Yani social media. Yote we boda ni social media. Hata mm. WhatsApp ni social media. Mm. Tafuta Bia Deduji, tafuta Raul Chapu. Utanipata. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Tukutane next week.